Here's an update video on how to assign the turbo option on Steam to your controller. So um, I've gotten a couple of questions on uh, my uh, recent video about how to um, assign the turbo button on any controller on Steam. And I also noticed that the Steam Big Picture mode has changed kind of uh, quite a bit. So I decided to make this update video on how to um, do this. Um, to access Big Picture mode, um, you go to your Steam page and has this little icon here, you know, on Picasso. Um, yeah. And once you got that, once you got that, you go to your game where you want to assign the uh, turbo button on. Um, I don't know how you scroll here. I think it's kind of like the phone just hold, like you click, click hold and then just switch over. And then on the game where you want to assign uh, the turbo button, you click on, that, click on that game. For my purpose, it's now going to be uh, Final Fantasy IV. Um, I want to assign the turbo button on this game. Now I have the option to play the game. Um, and here I have two icons. One is a manage icon and the other is the controller config icon or the controller icon. So I'm clicking that one. And then here um, I have the uh, layout for my controller, which I can adjust if I want to. And uh, what you want to do here is you want to go into edit layout. And once you're in the edit layout option, you are getting greeted with this screen. Um, you can have the buttons, the D-pad, the triggers, joysticks, trackpads, gyro, etc. And it's very nicely designed. So, and all you have to do now is take the controller that you want to assign Turbo to. Um, for instance, for me, it was the R2 trigger. Uh, no, L2, sorry, L2. And as you can see here now, this is something that was not there before in the previous big picture mode. And that was something I was asked um, how to assign the turbo button on a trigger um, because of how the triggers uh, were handled. Because previously, if you held down one of the two triggers, you could have gotten the, I think you could have gotten the regular uh, input. Uh, you could have like when you normally do the full pole and sometimes you get a light pole as you can see here there's two ways of like activating the trigger one is before you hit the end of the button push and one is at the end which is here the full pole and yeah the soft pole is a little bit weird um, because it's kind of like in between which is what confused a lot of people including me um, so yeah and here I want to adjust, uh, well, I want to assign it to the full pole. I could also change the layout of the left trigger, what it also could be, but I just want to keep it the full pole, but I want to give it turbo. So what you want to do is just go to this, this icon right here, click on it, and then on this like little sub menu, you go to settings. And then here you have at the top option is already repeat turbo. Perfect. And now you can go up and down the turbo speed. I don't know if that's like a thousand times a second. And depending on how fast it is, you have to check out on your game yourself, depending on how many or how much FPS you guys have. Um, you need to check how many inputs per second it can actually take. Meaning if your game runs at 60 FPS, then it might not be able to get the 1000 inputs a second. Um, or if it's 60 FPS, I don't think it will register um, anything above 60 and you might misfire Even though you said, oh, but I have a thousand inputs a second, but the game cannot handle that many um, So that the game will probably just not get the inputs because they're simply too fast for the game to actually like To get to read. So if you are at 60 FPS um, or at 120 um, just try out and see what works best for you. Um, I usually just took around 60-ish for 60, 30 for 30, and that usually worked. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I uh, hope you, everyone, were able to learn something new. 
and I hope I was able to help. See you next time. Thank you all for watching and have a good one. Thank you all for listening. <laughs>